A fire badly damaged a home in El Cajon this morning, and a couple inside managed to escape with the help from a family pet. But dozens of other animals in that property, mostly snakes, were killed. Jason Sloss is live for us tonight with new insights on what played out. Jason. Well, Andrew, uh, firefighters saved that home here on Pepper Hill Drive. A lot of damage, though, on the inside, and a couple living there uh, managed to get safely get out as one of their dogs got their attention to let them know what was going on with the fire. But the fire ended up killing dozens of snakes kept in the garage. Sky Fox above an El Cajon home on Pepper Hill Drive that caught fire around 5:30. Richard Peterson says he was asleep and his wife was getting dressed when their dog Samson, an English Mastiff, started barking unusually loud. Samson just started going ballistic. The wife let him out and right away saw heavy smoke coming from the garage. She, you know, got me out of bed and the house is on fire. The house is on fire. I opened up the back door and grabbed a little garden hose. I was going to go in, but I couldn't because there was so much smoke. The couple escaped unharmed, along with their three dogs, two tortoises, and a 10 foot boa. But when the fire was out, crews found around 50 dead snakes in the garage, along with some rats. My boas, you know, this is their breeding season, and they were all gravid, ready to throw babies. I mean, that's just a little extra income for me, you know, and now it's gone. Peterson says he's been breeding snakes for 20 years. And I just finally got my collection established really good and my name out into the reptile community. The San Diego Humane Society is now taking care of the family's animals that survived. Peterson says he's grateful for that and just wishes more could have been saved. It's just unfortunate how they died. Meanwhile, the couple's looking for a place to stay while repairs are made to their home. Uh, the fire causing around $350,000 worth of damage. And right now, no word on how that fire started.